interesting kid, and I'm going to be doing day 20 of uh, this book, How to Relate to Impossible People, and it's going to be um, on Agree to Disagree, and it comes from Acts chapter 15, verses 22 to 41, and I'll read it for you, and it goes like this. Then the apostles and the elders together with the whole church in Jerusalem chose delegates, and they sent to them, to, or they sent them to Antioch of Syria, with Paul and Barnabas. To report this decision, the men uh, chosen were two of the church leaders, Judas, also called Barsabbas, and Silas. This is the letter that they took with them. This letter is from the apostles and elders. Your brothers in Jerusalem, it is written to the Gentile believers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia. Greetings. We understand that some of the men here have troubled you and upset you with their teaching, but we did not send them. So we decided, having come to a, a complete agreement, to send you official representatives along with our beloved Barnabas to, and Paul, who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are sending Judas and Silas. Um, to confirm what we have decided concerning your question. For it seems good to the Holy Spirit, and for us to lay no greater burden on you than, than these few requirements. You must abstain from eating food offered to idols, from consuming blood or meat of strangled animals, and from sexual immorality. If you do this, you will do well. Farewell. The messengers went at once to Antioch, where they called a general meeting of the believers and delivered the letter. And there was great joy throughout the church that day as they read this encouraging message. Then Judas and Silas, both being prophets, spoke at length to the believers, encouraging and strengthening their faith. They stayed for a while, and then the believers sent them back to the church in Jerusalem with the blessing of peace. Paul and Barnabas stayed in Antioch, where they, uh, where they and many others taught and preached the word of the Lord there. After some time, Paul and Barnabas um, let, said, Paul said to Barnabas, "Let's go back and visit each city where we previous, where we previously preached the word of the Lord to see how the new believers are doing." Barnabas agreed and wanted to take along John Mark, but Paul disagreed strongly. John Mark had deserted them in Pamphylia and had not continued with them in their work. Uh, their disagreement was so sharp that they had separated. Barnabas took John Mark with him and sailed for Cyprus. Saul, or Paul, chose Silas, and as he left, the believers entrusted him to the Lord's gracious care. Then they then he traveled through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches there. So, let's get on to the questions. And we can do some stuff, because there's really interesting stuff in this one. And, um, I really like this one. So, let's get started. And the first question is, when Paul and Barnabas were planning a second missionary journey, what issue did they have a sharp disagreement about? And the first one was the part that Paul and Barnabas disagreed on was that Barnabas wanted to take along John Mark, but Paul had disagreed because John Mark had deserted them in Pamphylia, and he had uh, and he did not continue with them with the work. But that's why Paul didn't think it was really good, was a good idea to take him with. Um, so that's why they disagree. Second question is, how did they resolve it? The way that um, Barnabas and Paul had resolved it was Barnabas had taken John Mark with him, and they had sailed for Cyprus, whereas Paul had went his own direction, and with since he went his own direction on his own, um, he might have. He might have been looking like he was pretty, like, lonely and, you know, like he was all by himself and stuff. But the believers had entrusted him to the Lord's gracious care, which means he did something really huge. He had God behind him and behind his back. God had his back. 
So then he traveled throughout Sierra and Silica, and then he strengthened strengthened the church. The church is there. I can't speak today. Sorry. Um, so there was two very different directions that they took. Um, the third question, actually you can't find in this one. I had to look for it. But it, um, it says, years later, near the end of his life, what did Paul say about Mark? And you can find this in 2 Timothy chapter 4, uh, 11. And it says, Paul said, only Luke is with me. Bring Mark with you when you come for me, and he will be helpful to me in my ministry. So, that is what he said. Um, and you can find that in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 11. So, um, it's in there. It's in there just before anything happens. But, you know what? Paul eventually was impressed, and he reconciled to Mark but not to his mentor, Barnabas. Barnabas had a sterling reputation in the Christian community, and he went out of his way to be friend of Saul, and then go to Tarsus to bring Saul into the ministry, which is found in Acts 9 to 11, in case you wanted to read it. So, if I found that really interesting. I thought you might too. Um, so let's pray, and that'll be the end of this one. Um, so let's just pray for harmony in our relationships. So God, we just pray, we come to you and we pray that you will give us harmony in our relationships. It doesn't matter if they're small relationships, big relationships, it doesn't matter what we hope. And we pray that you will give us harmony so that all of our relationships can work out for the better and for your purpose. In your name, amen. So I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll come back, and I hope that you will join me for the next one, which is day 21, and this one is going to be tough, but it's, um, give your anger to God. So, this one will be good. Really good. So join me, and I hope you really enjoyed it. And hope you come back. But uh, anyways, I'll talk to you later. And see you later. Bye.